Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ajinono Fairnisa, so I would like to present uh, my presentation about the various perspectives of the people in DKI Jakarta regarding government regulations about large-scale social restrictions. So, um, this, is a this is the timeline. The first is introduction, the second is literature review, the third is research method and the fourth is finding the fifth is discussion and the last is conclusion so we go to the introduction first um as we know uh, that jakarta is the province with the highest population density in indonesia and is also one of the main international gateways to enter indonesia these conditions cause a high risk of transmission covid 19 in jakarta one of the government government decisions was applying the large scale social restriction or PSBB policy in Jakarta. The purpose of implementing this regulation is to break the chain of spreading the COVID-19 virus, limiting the interaction distance of one meter to two meters, temporarily closing houses of worship are urged to the public to be temporarily worshiped in their respective homes to avoid transmission of the COVID-19 virus and uh, the application of large uh, social restriction uh, makes the policy of the government of the Gay Jakarta to get a response from the citizens of the Gay Jakarta as well as stakeholders in the lower figure of the spread COVID-19 in the Gay Jakarta. So the research about um, large-scale social distancing regulation in Jakarta has been conducted but uh, focuses more uh, on its impact. However, uh, there, has, there hasn't been much research about the perspectives of the people of the Gay Jakarta regarding uh, this regulation. So uh, the goal of this research is to determine the various perspectives of the people of the Gay Jakarta regarding government regulations about large scale social restrictions. So to achieve the goal, the right, uh, uh, the proposes uh, the writer proposes some of these research questions. So one, what society thinks of large scale social restrictions? Uh, second is what changes have occurred since the large scale social restrictions were introduced? And the third is what are the activities that have been carried out by the community since uh, the imposition of large scale social restrictions? So uh, we go to the next slide. Uh, literature review. So the first is theoretical uh, framework. Um, policy implementation is an equally important process of policy formulation in context of achieving policy objectives. Uh, at work, uh, 1980 states that there are four important variables in policy implementation, namely, the first is communication, resources, Tendencies and behaviors means the willingness, desires, and tendency of the policymakers to implement them seriously so that policy objectives can be realized. So the second is empirical review. Uh, according to the uh, proceed process theory, several factors influence an individual in doing something, one of which is a predicate predisposing factor consisting of knowledge, beliefs, attitudes, values, and norms or culture. Um, based on the result of a survey conducted by Hypnoloty 2020, 89% um, of DK Jakarta citizens know PSBB, PSBB policy and 90% of DK Jakarta citizens know that DK Jakarta has been implemented PSBB in its area. Uh, the result of the survey shows that the knowledge, trust, and attitudes of the people of the Gay Jakarta lead to a positive direction towards compliance with the implementation of the Gay Jakarta, Jakarta PSBB policy. So the next slide is research method. Mm. So this study is was descriptive, qualitative, um, 
by conducted an interview method regarding the responses of the people of DKI Jakarta about large scale social restriction and the impact they uh, they felt. And there will be five questions um, of DKI. Uh, there there will be five questions that will be and there will be five citizens of DKI Jakarta also will be respondent in the study. Um, the next is findings. So uh, there are five questions. The first is, what uh, what do you think about the large scale social distancing regulation in DKI Jakarta? So regarding the responses from public opinion, uh, respondent one, four, and five obtained answers that PSBB in DKI Jakarta has positive and negative aspects. The positive aspect is that PSBB is quite accurate in reducing COVID-19 status in DKI Jakarta, but the negative is that it tends to people who have jobs and traders have to make money outside their homes. And for respondents two and four, uh, both agree that implementation of PSBB in DKI Jakarta has a positive aspect as a step to reduce the spread of COVID-19 in DKI Jakarta. And we go to the second question is what activities? have you done since the COVID-19 pandemic was in Indonesia? So several respondents explained that after the PSBB, they mostly did many activities at home or carried out their respective hobbies, such as playing games, watching favorite television shows, studying online, and so uh, and extra. But there are also those who upgrade their skills in cooking, as explained by respondent two not only doing some of their hobbies, but also upgrading their skills in other things. For example, yeah, cooking skills. And the third question is, um, have large scale social restriction effective in preventing the spread of the COVID-19 in DKI Jakarta? So based on five respondents, all agreed that the DKI Jakarta PSB was effective in dealing with COVID-19 cases in DKI Jakarta, but based on respondents five aided that the PSB regulation had been effective, but the treatment of the people who sometimes still violated it made it less effective. The next question is, um, what changes uh, are they felt since the large scale social restriction? Uh, so based on several respondents, respondents one is explained that he felt a change in Jakarta's pollution, which was greatly reduced during the PSBB. This was due to the decreasing number of motorized vehicles operating on the highway, while respondents two and three stated that when they felt left the, whole, the, the house, they had to be more vigilant by bringing some medical equipment such as masks and also hand sanitizer. And respondent five stated that they changed it closer to their family by spending more time with their family. And the, the last question is, uh, what are the hopes of the large scale social restriction? Uh, based on several responses regarding expectation for the people of DKI Jakarta, uh, respondent one hope that government will improve the system and the people can also be invited to work together again. Also, the government can remind the people to be more aware. For respondent two, hope that Jakarta residents will be more obedient to the regulations issued by the government. And the respondent three hopes that it can reduce the number of COVID-19 spreads in the world and also can resume activities as before the existence of COVID-19 and can increase for economic growth and hope things get back to normal. So the next slide is discussion. So from the explanation of the various opinions of the, of the people of DKI Jakarta regarding the PSBB regulation issued by the DKI government, it resulted in several points. The public response is that the implementation of large scale social restriction has both positive and negative impact. The positive impact is that it can help reduce the spread of the COVID-19 virus in the page of Florida. But for the negative impact, it is on small people who work as a small traders who earn income through selling. As for some changes, maybe in activities that the community finally um, experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic for the most part, the answer were those who spend more time on themselves, spend more time with their family, watch their favorite movies, play video games, and improve their skill. For the effectiveness of the PSBB uh, regulation, there is a positive response that the PSBB is quite effective. This is almost the same as a survey conducted by Saiful uh, 2020 that 
the great Jakarta citizen support on limiting outdoor activities is quite high. Respondents also have hope that this regulation is specifically addressed to the people of the Asia Jakarta, but it is hoped that the people of the Asia Jakarta can be more aware and obedient to the PSBB regulations issued by the government in order to achieve the common good. So the last uh, slide is conclusion. The purpose and the benefits of making this paper is to make readers and the public about some perspectives and also the changes felt by the people of the Gay Jakarta um, regarding the PSBB that has been carried out since the COVID-19 pandemic. And also it aims to serve as a reference for future writers who might discuss the topic about the Gay Jakarta PSBB and the suggestion for the future is to look for respondents, not only local residents, but also traders who also feel the impact of the Gay Jakarta. So maybe that's all from me. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.